Hey everyone, it's Eric here from Love to Rip FPV. It is Monday morning, August long weekend, 4.30 in the morning. Been up since quarter to three, can't sleep. So instead of staring at the ceiling, I thought uh, I would come down and do a quick overview of uh, the drones I fly and the equipment I use. Somebody asked me to do this a while ago and I kind of forgot. Um, so I thought now's as good as time as any. Um, so I'll start off with, I guess, the transmitter that I'm using today, which is the Tyrannus X9D. This is the special edition, sorry, special edition 2019. Um, this is the one I'm using currently. Uh, I was using a different one, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, really like this radio. I've always been a fan of Tyrannus and the FR Sky Protocol. I've been using that for years now. Years, a couple of years anyway, two, three years. Um, but I am using actually just converted and over to the TBS Crossfire module um, just earlier this year, maybe, maybe six weeks ago. Um, just did some some reading up on it, liked what I read uh, in terms of frequency and range and latency or lack thereof. So decided to give it a shot. Liked it so much I've converted four of my birds now uh, over to the Crossfire protocol. Uh, so far, so good. Really impressed. Um, <laughs> got this little idea from Mr. Steel, the, uh, mini, um, what do you call it? Receiver, video receiver. Kind of cool. Uh, I don't know if I'll keep it there, but looks neat. <laughs> Probably could come in handy, I guess, if your battery's dead on the goggles. You still have this going, you can see where you are. So, that's the transit I'm using today. Uh, I just put these plastic covers on the switches that I use. Um, so this is my arming button. Uh, this is the turtle mode, and then I've got the um, the rescue beeper on there. Uh, I just put the coverings on in case I'm panicking or whenever grabbing a switch, I know what I'm feeling, so I'm just not hitting any switch. I've got the ones that I need to hit, um, just my preference anyway. And then I just put a stand on the back so it's not lying on the TBS module, so it keeps it nice and tidy. Um, quads I'm flying today going on an apex rampage um, this is the latest build I just finished this is the third one uh, this has got the kiss fetech uh, fetech fetech however you pronounce it ESC and FC in there um, so I haven't actually flown this one yet I'm gonna try it out today weather permitting it's been pouring rain for the last day and a half um, so I'm gonna fly fly that today I've got a, uh, a cap on there as well it just says it needs um, Prop wise, I'm using the Ethics S3 or S4. These are S4s. Um, and I'm trying out these motors here. I don't know if it's going to focus. TOA. These are 1900 kV. Uh, these are the turbine ones. So if you can see, they've got like a, a turbine thing on the top of the bell, which is supposed to help cool the motor down. So kind of curious to see how this is going to fly. Um, I've got the impulse regulators in there for the camera, battery. Um, Flying all my birds have the TBS Unify Pro transmitter. That's all I use today. Uh, really like it. Reliable for me. I prefer it. It's just my thing. Um, and then I've got a Foxier camera. It's a 1200 line, I think, um, in there. And that's the camera I'm sort of using for the most part now as well. Up on the wall, I mean, I got my tools kind of all arranged for whatever I need. Um, soldering station. It's got the soldering iron as well as the heat gun. So I can do everything just with one station instead of pull out two units. Uh, works really well for me, independently controlled for temperature. Um, on the wall, I've got another Apex build here. Uh, this is the KISS V2 FC with the all-in-one 25 amp, I think, ESC. I'm running Zing Motors, uh, 1700 kV with the S3 props. I really like these motors actually. They were on the cheaper side. I think they were $20 each. Um, Canadian. And performance is great. Uh, quiet, strong, like a lot of power to it, a lot of punch. It's just, these are success birds. So all my apexes are success. So that's success. This one's success as well. Running the Foxier camera, uh, TPU for the GoPro. If you notice here, I put. Uh, actually FC mounts on here to prop it up because I think the TPU I got was 20 degrees which is not enough so 
instead of ordering a new one I just propped it up seems to work okay um, yeah so that's it for this apex the one above it is pretty much identical I'm using the TBS um, transmitter antenna here but on the others I'm using Fox ears but this one I've got the s3 props on no sorry no these are s4s as well sorry my apologies that one is s3 uh, but these are running the mr. steel stout v3 uh, 1750 kV motors a um, little different uh, almost the same really as the uh, 1700s in terms of power uh, really it is um, kiss v2 and the all one ESC as well got the impulse regulator boards that come with the kit and then I'm also still running the TBS Unify Pro same thing here I propped up the TPU mount because um, the one I got wasn't wasn't high enough so that again is success as well uh, I'll stop reaching so up top there is my impulse uh, reverb which is one of my favorite frames uh, that's running the KISS V2 all-in-one ESC as well so KISS V2 FC all-in-one ESC those are S3 props as well, and um, everything else the same, TBS Unify, Fox Ear camera, uh, except I have the proper GoPro mount on there. I covered up the uh, wires here with some old props just to protect them because I actually did cut through a set before, so lesson learned. Uh, down below again, I've got a two Skyliners, one above each other. Um, this one is my own build running KISS V2. No, sorry, this is the Brain FPV ESC. Uh, interesting, running on beta flight. Not too bad, actually. I've got some, uh, I think it's Techno ESCs, 32 amps in here. Nice ESCs, really strong. Uh, and these are the Hypertrain motors. I can't remember the KV on these guys. This is actually a pretty quick bird. Um, haven't flown it a lot, but one of my favorites. They're all my favorite. Um, another Skyliner, this is the pre-built model. I cannot remember what um, electronics they have in here. Uh, I know I did take out the transmitter, video transmitter, put in TBS Unify in here as well, running the Fox here. Uh, these are, what are these motors? X hovers, I think these are the cinematic ones. Um, what are they? 2500s, so a little higher up on the KV. Uh, the FC on here is actually giving me some problems, so I'm going to change that out. I get leery when they start giving you issues because they really don't heal themselves, so I'm going to change that out. This guy here is the Johnny FPV Astro X V2. Uh, pretty cool frame, pretty light bird. Um, I think that's running the Kalut F7 uh, stack, ESC and uh, FC. Uh, Brother Hobby 2350s on here, I think, and I'm running a steeper prop on this one. These are the HQs, but 5 by 4.8s. Uh, nice one as well. I stole a camera out of here because I pilfered it from my other build, but I'm going to replace that. This is the first homemade one I did. Not homemade, but uh, kit. This is the Alien V1. I love it. So resilient. Um, in a state of repair right now, I need to put in a new EFC in there. I'm going to put in a KISS V2 there too, as soon as everybody has them in stock. They're bloody hard to get right now. Uh, but again, TBS Unify um, video transmitter running KISS. These are 24 amps actually, not the 32s. This is the older one. Um, I think I got cinematic motors on here and 5x4x3 HQ props. Run, run cam rotor riot edition on here as well. So pretty cool. I really like this one. I got the Flight Osteris. This is a kit that I bought. Uh, it's pre-assembled anyway. I haven't flown it much, but I want to take it up to the river and uh, do some cool shots with that. Got the GoPro mount on there as well. Um, can't remember the electronics in here, but it was all pre-built, so I didn't assemble that at all. It came came all together. And then I've got all my micro quads up there. Uh, this is the go-to guy for indoors for me. That's the Blade um, brushless. Really like that one. Pretty stable. Haven't flown this one yet, uh, not indoors anyway. <laughs> a little bit more too too powerful for inside. And then just the others up there, some of them I can't honestly even remember half of them right now, uh, but uh, still fun to fly. Got another blade bird up there. Um, my big boy is the DJI S1000, this is the octocopter. I haven't flown this in probably two years now, but I'm gonna do it this week. I'm off on vacation for the week, so a buddy of mine and I are gonna 
use some rippage. I'm going to bring this up to his place up at the horse farm there that you saw in a couple of other videos and uh, spread its wings there. I haven't flown that forever. Now, this one is the first one I ever did any soldering work on or put together. And comment down below if you guys recognize this or have actually flown it. This is the TBS Discovery Pro. So this is an interesting bird. Um, all the electronics are actually integrated into the top and bottom plate. That's what you solder to. The flight controller is a DJI uh, NASA V2. So it's got the GPS and all that stuff. Uh, Futaba receiver. Um, these are Gropner props. Stiff as a board. Like, don't get your fingers in there. And T-motors. I can't remember what KV these were. Um, and then it's actually got a gimbal on the front, so you actually plug in your GoPro here, and when you power it on, the gimbal's going. You plug this into the old version of the GoPros, the 4s and the 3s, and you can actually toggle on your goggles between, oh, here comes the cat, between your FEV camera, or you can view it from the uh, GoPro, which was really cool because it was a much clearer picture. This was a cool bird to fly. You can see the dust on it. I haven't taken it in quite some time. Um, I might actually try it this week. I have uh, some 5,000 milliamp batteries, four cell. Very cool, cool to fly. Uh, you can see the ESCs on the bottom. Uh, big boys. Um, that's your indicator for the flight controller. Um, yeah, we went crazy building these things. It was a lot of fun. Um, so I just pulled it out of the off the shelf today and thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a rip this week, see how it goes. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't freak out. Haven't done any updates on it. 800 milliwatt uh, VTX. This is, he's, I can't even remember. Oh, sorry, 600. It's a 600. It's in Pulse RC as well. Older one, but I bet you it still works just fine. Same uh, communications uh, bandwidth anyway. Uh, chargers, I have two that I use, Hi-Tech X4, which is four at a time, and the Hoda, I can't remember the model of this one, it's a dual charger, this is four, this one only has the XT60 ports on it, uh, which is fine, because all my batteries are XT60, but if I want to charge my Galga batteries or the TX batteries, because I don't tra I don't charge that in the TX itself, uh, I go to this guy, um, mainly because you can charge or change out the charge leads. Um, to whatever you need and then adjust your milliamps to what you need to charge to so those work really well the other transmitters I have um, sorry cleaning up here a bit I've got the FR Sky Horus X10S uh, that was my main um, transmitter until a little till a couple of weeks well a couple of months ago when I moved over to this guy um, still like this one color LCD on there a little heavier though but still a good transmitter. This is one of the older um, X9Ds, Tyrannus radios, a couple of years old. Um, this one a buddy of mine is using now. Actually, I just had it because I was fixing something on it for him. So trying to get him up in the air. And then I've got the Spectrum DX9, which is typically what I use for the indoor birds. Uh, so that blade one, my favorite one, I use that on this transmitter to fly around the house. Um, different. I'm not... I Oopsie. <laughs> I struggle with the height of the gimbals. I find them a little too high or from what I'm used to, so I find controlling is a little different. But uh, anyway, still works great. I've got all the uh, micro quad batteries up there in their buckets. And then uh, this is my workstation. So all my video editing stuff is done on the Mac. I've got the screen up there because of my old eyes, easier to see. Uh, my stack of props, stash of props. Um, Pretty much all HQ except for a few of them. Uh, really moved over to the Essex S3 and 4. Those are my go-to props now. Keep all my heat shrink wiring Velcro packs here. Um, that is my... That's a helicopter I flew for a little bit. Hard as hell. Um, that is the... Oh, what is this? This is a 450SE um, Align. Interesting copter but very manual, really difficult to fly. I did fly for a bit, uh, had a few crashes, but man, when you crash with these guys, it's a bit of a different story. Uh, got my Iron Man up there. I've got an older blade helicopter up on the top. Easier to fly, not as complicated. And then I've got uh, 
Terminator and Big Boy. I don't remember if you guys remember this. It was a video game I used to love playing. I can't remember the name of it, but that character was Big Boy. Um, parts and whatnot I keep down here in my bins. Uh, just keep everything organized. Screws, mounts, antennas, so on and so forth. And then I carry all my stuff around in just a regular laptop knapsack. I would love to get one of those knapsacks that they use for the FPV stuff where you can strap your quads on the top. So cool. Um, anyway, just haven't broken down to spend the money on the knapsack like that. But um, in the main compartment, I keep all my batteries. So 6S batteries, I have tape on them, red tape and a red cap. Just so I can tell the difference between that and the four. Because usually I'm in a rush. Grab a battery out of the pack. And I don't want to put this on my 4S birds. So it's a way to identify it. Got Velcro on the bottom of the 6S packs. Because all of the uh, Apexes come with a Velcro pad that you put on the top. Um, just secures it a little more tightly. Which is great. The 4S packs don't have any tape. This is actually getting a little beat up. <laughs> So this is the forest pack. I usually pretty much a tattoo guy. Our line, uh, I keep green caps on the um, battery leads so I can tell the difference between four and six just because I'm not paying attention half the time when I grab the battery. So don't want to put the wrong one on. Middle pack, I keep my gum, my lanyard, and my all trusty battery checker. I never leave home without this guy. Great little tool. Goes in the middle. Uh, this section here, I keep my spare set of goggles. Uh, this is the HDO. Um, I just keep it just as a backup, or if somebody else wants to see what we're doing, I keep it in here. And then my transmitter actually goes in the middle pack. And then uh, in the last section, I keep all my spare props. So keep them on hand in case I do, and always do crash. Chance those are props. And then the last section, I keep my flight certificate and then my laptop if uh, if I'm carting it with me so that is it uh, oh the transmitters for the DJI and that TBS discovery are both um, Futaba T14 SG's great radio um, even now I mean I got those quite a while back they were uh, cream of the crop right it's time still good radio um, but I still haven't flown those in quite some time, so hopefully this week. So that is my setup from Soup to Nuts. It's where I do all my building, lots of repairing, modifying, what have you, uh, video editing, the whole spiel. So um, that's it. So it's now almost 10 to 5. <laughs> a little longer to go until the sun comes up, and then I'll go try and rip a couple of packs out today. Anyway, I hope everybody is staying safe. Uh, please be safe out there. Social distancing is still a must. We're not past this. I got a feeling we're going to go through another phase of it, but let's see what happens. Let's not try and repeat history. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. Fly safe and take care.